So today we'll be talking about terminating or repeating decimals. Just a quick reminder for you, terminating decimals are decimals that do come to an end, so they do not go on forever. For instance, 0 0.5, 0 0.125, and so on. Repeating decimals, on the other hand, are decimals that do go on infinitely or forever. Some you might be familiar with is 0.333333 repeating on forever or 0 0.11111 repeating on forever, noting the fact that they do go on forever. So in order to determine whether or not a fraction is going to give us a terminating or repeating decimal, we are going to want to use long division. How we are going to do this is by taking our bottom number or our denominator. This is going to be our divisor. So we want to make sure that this is on the outside of our brackets when we are doing our division. Now we can go ahead and do the long division. So we want to ask ourselves, how many times can 3 go into 2? Since 3 is a bigger number, it cannot go into 2. So it can go in zero times. At this point, we cannot continue with the division. So in order to continue, we need to take this 2, multiply it by 10, and turn it to 20. By doing this, we are moving our invisible decimal point from the front of that 0 over to the right, which is also multiplying by 10 and placing our decimal place there. Now we can continue on with the division. So how many times can 3 go into 20? Well, if we write some of our factors, 3 times 5 gives us 15. 3 times 6 gives us 18. And 3 times 7 gives us 21. So looking at these factors, we can tell that we can use 3 times 6, which is 18. So putting our 6 at the top, bringing down our 18, and 20 minus 18 leaves us with a 2. And then we can continue on. So how many times can 3 go into 2? It cannot. So once again, we need to add that 0. Now continuing on, how many times can 3 go into 20? Going back from before, it can go in 6 different times. Put our 6 up top, bring down our 18. 20 minus 18 leaves us with 2. Continuing on, how many times can 3 go into 2? Notice I am repeating myself. The same thing has happened once, twice, and if we continue on, it will continue to happen over and over and over again an infinite number of times. This is the point we want to notice that our decimal is going to go on forever and is going to be a repeating decimal. So two-thirds will give us the decimal 0.6 repeating or 0.66666 and will be a repeating decimal. Going to our second example, one-fifth. Remember, we want that bottom number or our denominator, our divisor, to be on the outside of the brackets. Then we can continue on with our division. How many times can 5 go into 1? Zero times because 5 is bigger than 1. So now we need to take this 1, multiply it by 10, add a 0 behind it to continue on with our division. Remember, when we do that, we are taking that invisible decimal point, moving it to the right once, which is also multiplying by 10. So now how many times can 5 go into 10? 5 can go into 10, 5 times 1 leaves us with 5, 5 times 2 gives us 10. So 5 can go into 10 2 times. Writing our 2 at the top, 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. So our solution is 0 0.2, which is in fact a terminating decimal because it does not continue on forever.